Notes 3H, Systems of Linear Inequalities. Objective, I can solve a graph linear inequalities. Solve a graph a system of linear inequalities. Review TEKS 5A and 5B. Focus TEK 3H, Other TEKS 2I, 3F, 3G, 5C. Essential question, how do you solve systems? When you're given a calculator, when you're not given a calculator. Vocabulary. Intersection. Where two or more lines or planes meet. One solution. The system only has one specific coordinate point where they intersect. Infinite solutions. The system is actually the same equation or inequality in different forms. Or the same form. No solution. The equations are parallel to each other, so they will never intersect. Consistent. There is at least one solution to the system. Inconsistent. There are no solutions to the system. Linearly, uh, linearly dependent. The system may either have no solution or infinitely many solutions. We obtain a false equation such as 0 equals 1 in any of the steps. The system has no solution. We obtain a true equation, a true statement such as 0 equals 0, then the system has infinitely many solutions. Linearly independent, the system has one unique solution, one specific coordinate point. Solve graph on the number line. Negative 2x plus 4 is less than 10. Step 1, we want to subtract 4 from each expression. 4 minus 4 is 0, those cancel out. 10 minus 4 is 6, carry everything else down. Negative 2x is less than 6. To get x by itself to isolate it, divide each term by negative 2. Negative 2x divided by negative 2 is 1x. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. We divide by a negative number, so the relation symbol, the relation sign flips to greater than. So if x is greater than negative 3. And now you want to graph this on the number line. So we find negative 3, we just write it anywhere on the line, and we put a hole in, uh, above it. It's a hole because there's no line. This is the arrow that this is the arrow that's showing. So we shaded the right side. If you were unsure about which side to shade, you could always do a test point. You put like negative four on this side. Negative four is not greater than negative three. And we could do a test point on the other side. Zero is greater than negative three. It's a true statement. That's why we shade this side. Solve. Graph on the number line. Negative 6 is less than 4x minus 10, less than 14. This is a compound inequality, the AND form. So, to get x by itself, first we need to add 10 to each expression. There are three expressions here. Negative 6 plus 10 is 4. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0. That cancels. 14 plus 10 is 24. Bring everything else down. Now we divide each term by 4 to get the x by itself to isolate it. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Break down the less than symbol. 4x divided by 4 is 1x. Break down the less than symbol. 24 divided by 4 is 6. We keep these inequality signs the same because we did not divide by negative. Is your solution. So, we plot 1 on the number line and put a hole above it. And we plot 6 
and put a hole above it. We put holes and not points because there's no line on either of these less than symbols. X is in between these two numbers, so you shade in between. And that's it for this one. I do solve graph on the number line. We have another compound inequality, an or one this time. 5x plus 11 is less than or equal to negative 19, or negative 6 minus 4x is less than negative 26. So you want to solve each of these for x separately. So step 1, we want to subtract 11 from each expression. 11 minus 11 is 0, that cancels. Negative 19 minus 11 is negative 30. Carry everything else down. And then we'll do the first step on the other one. Add 6 to each expression. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0, they cancel out. Negative 26 plus 6 is negative 20. Bring down everything else. On this one, 5x is less than or equal to negative 30. Divide each term by 5 to get the x isolated by itself. 5x divided by 5 is 1x. Negative 30 divided by 5 is negative 6. So if x is greater than or equal to negative 6, that is because we div it would be less than or equal to negative 6. So I'll skip me ahead of this step. We did not divide by negative. That's why the sign stays the same. On the other one, we have negative 4. x is less than negative 20. Divide each term by negative 4. Since we divide by negative, negative 4x divided by negative 4 is 1x. Negative 20 divided by 4 is 5. x is greater than 5. It's greater than 5, we flip the relation sign because we divide by negative number. Now let's break down that or, and that's our solution set. x is less than or equal to negative 6, or x is greater than 5. That's our domain. Now we're going to graph this domain. So x is less than or equal to negative 6. So if I had negative 6 on the graph, we just apply it anywhere as long as it's on the left side of the 5. And we put a point. It's less than, so it's facing this way. You can always check your test points to make sure that, of that. And then, or, x is greater than 5. So we find 5, we label it on our line. It's greater than, that's this arrow, shaded it on this side. Test points. So we already have a line graphed, and they want to know what side you shade. So to do that, we're going to test two points, one on each side of the line. Let's do negative 4, 0. And let's do 0, comma, 0. You could choose any points as long as one's on this side and one's on that side, and not on the line. Let's test negative 4, comma, 0. Here's the process. Plug in 0 for each y you see, and then plug in negative 4 for each x you see. Evaluate. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 6. So, is 0 less than or equal to negative 2? No, that's false. We're not going to shade it in. So now let's check 0, comma 0. Let's do the process. Wherever we see a y, we're going to plug in 0. Wherever we see an x, we're also going to plug in a 0. So is 0 less than or equal to 6? That's true. So that means this side we're going to shade. Let's shade it blue since that's what the calculator would do by default. And the line is solid since we have a line underneath the inequality symbol. Graph the system and shade in the solution. So we have two inequalities this time. 4x minus y is less than or equal to negative 8. 
and x minus y is greater than negative 5. Now you can solve for y to make it easier to graph by hand. Or, of course, you could use your TI Inspire to graph this. So we're going to call the first inequality F and the second inequality G. F is going to be blue, G is red. So let's graph these. The M on this one is 4. And it's increasing. Our B, our starting point, is 8. So let's go ahead and write a point. So 8 is a closed point because there's a line right there. And we're going to go down 4 and left 1. Down 4, left 1. Keep doing that until you filled up the graph space. This is a solid line, so we're going to go ahead and write a line here. From here, we're going to go ahead and do the next one, the G. So the slope for this one is 1. It's also increasing. Our starting point B, our y intercept, is 5. So we go to 5, we put a hole. It's a hole because there's no line underneath the inequality symbol. We go down 1, left 1. Down 1, left 1. And keep doing that until you get through the whole graph. Make holes. And when you're doing this, you don't have to put a hole on every single lattice point. You only have to do it to two of them, and then connect, it, connect the two holes with a ruler or some kind of straight edge. Let's test the point 0, 0 for both of these and see if it's true. If it's true, we shade it. If it's false, we're going to shade the other side. And by looking at this, 0 is not greater than 8. So we're going to shade the other side of our graph. Now let's look at the 0, 0 for the red one. 0 is less than 5. That's true. So we'll shade it this side of the red. So the solution is the purple part. Your intersections where the two lines cross, that is at negative 1, 4. It's not a solution because at least one line is dashed. And dashed lines are not part of the solution set. So your solution is only this purple part. Test points, true or false? You're going to test points within vertical angle sections. So this is a vertical angle with this one. Since these are vertical angles, they are congruent angles. They're the same angle. They're equal to each other. We'll do it with those because we'll cover every, every possibility. If this is true, then we shaded this half and not this one. If it's false, we shaded the other half of this line. If this was true, we shaded this half. If this was false, we shaded the other side of the line. So we're going to test a point 0, 0 and see what we get. Here's the process for the first inequality. For each x, we replace it with the 0. And for each y, we also repl uh, replace it with 0. So is 0 less than 4 or equal to? That's true. So we're going to shade it. So we're going to shade it this side of the line. And we're talking about this flat line right here, the x plus 2y equals 4. Now let's do the process for the other inequality, 3x minus y is less than or equal to 5. So wherever we see an x, we're going to plug in 0. Wherever we see a y, we're also going to plug in a 0. So 0 is less than or equal to 5. That's true, so we're going to shade it red on that side. So we take this line that's more steep, the steeper line, 
and we shaded the side that has the test point 0, 0. Our solution is the purple part. The intersection would be a solution here because both inequality symbols have solid lines. They have a line underneath the sides. So they're both true. So yes, 0, 0 is part of the solution set. Now, we could stop here. But let's check one more point just to make sure. We have 5, 0. By the looks of our graph, it looks like both of these should be false. Let's show that here with the process. For each x, we're going to replace it with 5. For each y, we're going to replace it with 0. So is 5 less than or equal to 4? No, that's false. We're not going to shade it. And let's test the same point for the other inequality. So for each x, we replace it with 5. 3 times 5 minus for each y, we replace it with 0. 3 times 5 is 15 less than or equal to 5? No, that's false, so we don't shade it. So, no, 5 comma 0 is not part of the solution. Remember, we are doing these by hand. Never test a point on the solid or dashed line. Let's talk about how to graph these in the TI Inspire. This will save a lot of time. Let's start with graphing this inequality. Y is less than or equal to 2x plus 6. So we go to our calculator, press the home button. Let's click add to graphs, new document. That's this icon with the parabola. Menu 3, 2, relation. And then we're going to type in what we see there. Y, and we press control equals. And then we find the symbol less than or equal to 2x plus 6. And then you press enter. We're going to hover over the line to see if it's solid or dashed. In this case, it's solid. From there, you would just match this graph. From here, we'll just match this graph with the answers for our multiple choice questions. Let's do the next one. So we're going to graph this system of inequalities. So let's press Control W, no, and open a new document. Press Menu, 3, 2, Relation. And then type in the first inequality. 4 x minus y control equals choose the sign less than or equal to negative 8 go down and do the next graph x minus y control equals choose the sign greater than negative 5 and then press enter hover over your two lines the red line is dashed. The blue line is solid. We have answer choices. A lot of times they flip these, so make sure that you know which one is solid and which ones are dashed. The purple part is the solution. That would be the part that shaded all your answer choices. Graph it and match it. When you're done, you'll press Control w no and do the next one. So now we're going to do the last example here these two inequalities. Press menu, three graph entry edit, two relation, type in your two inequalities. X plus two Y, control equals, choose the side, it's less than or equal to four. Go down, type in the other one. 3x minus y, and make sure you use this minus sign, not the negative sign. 
Control equals, choose the side, less than or equal to five. Press enter. Hover over your lines. They're both solid. And your solution is the purple part right here. Match that with the solutions or your answer choices. There'll probably be two answer choices. One with this shaded and these lines are solid. And one with this shaded and these two lines are dashed. So make sure you hover over these lines to make sure that if they're solid or they're dashed. When they're both solid, remember that intersection is a solution.